I'm Ray. We've been working on a series of special reports on conditions of field grist buildings and facilities. We'll be looking at both South and the high school in Monoc. Also, we'll be doing stories on West and Toluca. Today's story looks at Fieldcrest East and Winona. I'm here with Parker. Parker, you think you could tell us a little bit about what you like about this school building? Yeah, I like the gym. The gym's pretty good. <laughs> Anything else that you think is worth keeping here? The lab's pretty well, too. All right, is it, are we in the lab right now? Yep. Wow. All right, so you like the gym, you like the lab. Is there anything about this school that you think isn't quite as good as it should be? Well, in the lab, there's heaters that I got burnt by. Yeah? Yeah, it hurt. They run a little hot? Yeah, they're a little hot in there. The, are they covered. steam radiators? I don't know what they are. They All just right. hurt. And on the heaters, there's a the Miss Miss class. Andy got in trouble for messing with it because there's asbestos on it, she said. Oh, wow. Might want to get that fixed. Yeah. Alright, is there anything that you think would help if we changed it about school? Well, maybe change out the display on the water because there's water marks all over the school because of the leaky pipes. Okay. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. We're good. Right. Hello everyone, I'm here with Parker again. He's here to tell us a little bit more about the problem with the boys' bathroom. Yeah, well, it's very hot in here and it smells terrible. And all the sinks in here either throw out rust or they just fling everywhere if you turn them on all the way. And under the urinal, there's where people pee on there down there. There's like a erosion. Nice, nasty. It's just nasty. And as you can see here, one of our toilets is out of use once again. Turn the sink. Yeah, and here's what the sink does. And you probably can't see, but it's all yellow in there. It's not good. Thank you. Nice job. Hello, everyone. I'm here with Michael. Hey, Michael. Do you mind telling us a little bit about what you like about the classrooms here at your school? What I like about the classrooms is you can be close to your friends because it's so small. All right. What are the worst things about the classrooms? The worst things is that um, they're small, uh, in the winter it's real cold, and in the summer it gets really hot because there's no air conditioning. Alright, so there's no real ventilation, it's not really well ventilated. Yeah. Alright, what needs to be fixed for these classrooms to be usable? Well, they are usable because they're used, but you know, you can paint the walls because there's paint chipped everywhere. Yeah. And the ceiling tiles aren't that good in here either. Need to be replaced, water yeah. damage? Yeah, water damage. All right. Thank you, Michael. Yep. Well, I'm here in another boy's bathroom with Michael now, and he'd like to just point out a couple things that he's concerned about in here. Well, as you can see before, the bathroom wasn't good, so we had to get it redone, and there's no doors on the stalls. There's a broken window and exposed radiator that, as you can see, isn't very well anchored. And then down under the sink, the, they had to take it all out and put in new plumbing for the water and everything. Because as in the other bathroom, the water was rusty. Hi. Hello everybody, I'm here with Camry and we're standing in the hallways of Fieldcrest East. She's going to tell you a little bit about what she thinks of the hallways. Well, the windows, it kind of gets hot in the winter, and when you try to open them, it's, some of them are hard to open, and then when you try to close them, it can be kind of difficult. <laughs> and the lockers, um, they really don't open, they don't really work. Yeah, and the floor, if you look at it, it's cracked in places more than just settling, so there's problems there as well. Yeah. 
these heaters, they have uninsulated lines that students can easily get burned on. If you go look, this is actually quite hot to the touch. Hello, I'm back here with Camry again, and... We're in Miss Kay's room, and in the winter, it gets hot, and she always is opening and closing the windows, and it can get kind of annoying. Yeah, so I'm here in the uh, ladies' locker room with Camry, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the showers here. Well, as you can see, I don't know what that is, but right so water, and in here, A bunch of rust is on the floor. In the bathroom. That's <laughs> And when you go to flush the toilet, you have to hold it. Cause. Hello, we're back with Lexi again in the girls' bathroom this time, and she'd like to point out a couple things that she's concerned about with this bathroom. Well, these stalls don't close, and the sink over here doesn't work very well. All right, so hello everybody. I'm here with Mr. Brown. Uh, sir, could you tell us a few things about this building that you'd like to change? Uh, if I could change it, I would say that we definitely need more than just two drinking fountains for you know, the whole district or whole school for kids to use. Um, things like locker rooms, you know, we host the state tournament and that brings in a huge amount of people this last weekend and we don't have a shower to offer referees or, okay. or um, players. Um, that'd be a great thing. So, I mean, definitely plumbing issues um, with an older building and, and some of those things. All right, can you tell us a few things about this building that you think are good or a step in the right direction? I mean, A, I love the gym. It's huge. It's got that old school feeling. Mm. Um, I like the history of the building. You know, when you pull up in the front, it's just got that look of the old school building. People from the towns and the communities come here and they say, hey, I remember when this classroom was uh, this teacher's. So it's got a lot of history. Is there anything that you think would help fix this building or anything that would be a step in the right direction towards the change? Um, you know, I think our our maintenance staff does a great job trying to keep it uh, keep it up. Um, there's only so many band aids that you can put All right. on on the same problems. Um, I don't know what the solution is, other than I know that when our kids go to other places mm -hmm. and they see what other school districts are offer offering, you see those kids taking pride in their school. Um, you know, I want our kids to have that same opportunity. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks. Hello, everybody. I'm here with the one and only Mr. Peterson. <laughs> And uh, sir, if you could tell us a bit about what's wrong with this building. Well, I'd say, um, you know, most of the problems are just because of the age of the building. All right. Um, things have have deteriorated. Um, being the PE teacher, I know we don't have a drinking fountain anywhere near to send kids to get a drink during class. Okay. Um, the, the plumbing is just rusted and deteriorated to the point where they can't put a fountain in down here. So we encourage the kids to bring a water bottle or get a drink out of the sinks in the locker room. And uh, can you tell us about a few things that you find good about this building? Um, one of the things we hear, like you know, Coach Brown mentioned the state tournament, you know, people like the the old, I guess the rustic, you know, the older okay. looking gym. They think it, it's a, a neat gym, and it is a nice gym, um, and especially with the addition of our new bleachers. They made it addition. Okay, yeah. um, so I do like that, but like I said, just the the other features, even handicap accessibility is difficult. Okay, yeah, we could see that when we walked in. Yeah, had, a, had an elderly lady last night complaining to me about having to go up and down steps to go to the bathroom over there, so. That's unfortunate. Uh, do you have any recommendations, like a step in the right direction towards fixing these problems? Um, somebody was to donate a lot of money. Mm, money um, helps. Yeah, money would help. And I know the state of Illinois hasn't helped us um, as far as funding, but it would, I know it's, it would take a lot of, a lot of funding and a lot of renovation to get it back up to where it should be. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you.